Good day ladies and gentlemen, Joy Steven from the Pollens Studios, another case law, interesting case, Singh versus Canada. Case laws are not meant for people interested to apply for immigration to Canada, but may be used by those who feel the system is not fair to gain an understanding of the recourse available in Canada if in case there is a negative decision. Content for this video is sourced from information distributed by Thomson Reuters. Judgment for this case is attached in my blog reportersreport.com as a PDF document. This case is all about immigration, inadmissible and removable classes, misrepresentation. Applicant applied for Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, SINP, under Farmer Entrepreneur category. SINP invited applicant to visit Saskatchewan. Applicant sought temporary resident visa. Officer noted applicant did not disclose that applicant have, was previously asked to leave the United States 19 years ago. Applicant was provided 30 days to respond to the minister officer's concerns. Applicant asked officer to consider that re removal was a result of his overstaying his time in the United States. This case continued uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, uh, United States, fol uh, following a failed refugee claim and not due to criminal or medical inadmissibility. Applicant also said that uh, he declared such removal, it would have been resulted in a refusal of admission uh, Canada. That means if he had disclosed it initially, he claimed that it could have resulted in a refusal for the uh, office visa. Applicant's uh, application for temporary resident visa was refused. Applicant sought judicial review. Application was dismissed. There was misrepresentation. It was not for applicant to decide what was relevant. Applicants were required to make full disclosure. It was for officer to decide what was relevant and what weight to give any particular fact, fact disclosed. It was not whether visa would have been refused had full disclosure been made, but rather point was that it could have been induced error because it could have impacted officer's decision on whether applicant would leave at end of visa period. And it could have induced error if there was another um, other inadmissibilities. Applicants failure to understand clear wordings could not be used to avoid consequences of misrepresentation. Given clear questions and instructions on form, it was not reasonable for applicant to believe that he was not misrepresenting material fact when he decided to omit information in which he was fully aware misrepresentation was clearly material to decision that had to be made. Reasons were adequate. GCMS notes were part of reasons that notes clearly explained why non-disclosure was found to be material misrepresentation. Very interesting case, Singh versus Canada, uh, uh, March 25th of 2015 from the Federal Court. Thank you.